Hey guys, Mr. Minio here, and today I'm going to be showing you what you've all been waiting for, which is, well, a submarine. Like the one I have on screen right here. So, let's jump right in. Now, to begin, we're going to be creating a hull, which is, you know, created with um, ballast beams, 1x4 beams, and wedges. For steering, instead of adding just a bunch of rockets inside the submarine to, you know, have it steer, uh, we're just gonna put a propeller on the outside in the back that is, you know, on a swivel. Although, you can use rockets instead if you want, I just prefer this option. Now, the next step is to add all of your ballast tanks. Now, this would technically be easier if you used the rocket option for steering and propulsion, but there is an easy fix, which I'll show you later in the video. Now, all you have to do right now is to put equal amounts of ballast tanks on both the front and the rear of the submarine. Also, if you see that the conning tower, which is the part of a submarine that sticks upward, is um off the center from, you know, the center of mass, you don't really have to worry about anything because there is a easy fix, which is actually part of the same fix that I'll be showing you later in the video. Alright, so you see that our first test of the submarine, uh, the submarine just tilts downwards from the front. Well, I have a fix for that, which is just to increase the mass of the rear ballast beams, and it should float perfectly, well, underwater at least. Above water, uh, the submarine might tilt to the side, because, well, there isn't enough mass on the all the ballast beams in general. So... To increase the center of, like to put the center of mass downwards a little bit, you just um, increase the mass of, you know, uh, all the ballast beams that need it, which are all the middle ones. Now, we may have just created another problem, but you can also fix this one too. All you need to do is just add a couple of rockets in the front facing downwards, uh, and boom, you're good as can be. Uh, but one thing to make sure though, is to make sure that all the rocket keybinds are the same as the propellers, so that, you know, it just matches to when you're, you know, trying to move. Now, that is pretty much it. Although, you can technically add rockets around the center of mass to help speed it up, which is also another thing I did with this submarine. But, yeah, that's pretty much how you make a submarine in Plain Crazy. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content just like this, and also leave a comment uh, in case I, you know, missed anything. But yeah, as always, I am Mr. Minio, and I'll see you next time. Bye!